Hey guys, Ernie here and welcome to the Paleo Hiker MD channel. I have a confession. I don't really watch a lot of TV. I mainly watch YouTube these days. I probably should just cancel my direct TV. I watch all kinds of content, not just stuff that goes along with my channel. I, I have to say I watch a lot of stuff. One guy I've been watching recently is a guy out of Japan. He built this little tiny, um, kind of like a tiny home on the back of this tiny truck and he goes around camping and he always cooks stuff. And it's pretty cool. He kind of does it in, the, in kind of a Mav way. I don't know if you guys have ever watched a channel called Mav. I'll leave a link down to Mav's channel as well as this Japanese gentleman named Tabi. I think I'm saying that right. Make sure you check those down below. He uses a kit just like this on a lot of his videos and I picked it up. Cool thing is it's only 25 bucks. I think it's pretty versatile. Well, stay tuned, we'll check it out. Thanks for watching guys. Now obviously this kit is designed to use with solid fuel and we're going to have kind of a Chinese Japanese inspired menu because of course we were inspired by this nice Japanese gentleman who makes videos. We're going to make kind of a wonton soup and I'm pretty much winging it so let's see how it goes. So let's jump right in and show you guys what you get for 25 bucks. You got this little carrying case. Let's pull out all the pieces here. Carrying case. It's kind of like a muslin. Like a linen, sort of. Okay, we'll start with the lunchbox or the tin, which is this right here. You can see it's got a handle that folds up. It's 3.5 by 6.3 by 2.4. Let me get a scale and we'll weigh it. Not sure if you guys will be able to see this, but we've got 168 grams or 5.9 ounces. Next you get the steaming rack. It is 3.3 by 6.3 by 0.7. Fits perfectly inside of your lunch tin or box. As far as weight goes, 1.6 ounces or 44 grams. Next we've got this cup or bowl. It's got this kind of weird little handle on it to be honest with you. It's got gradations to measure 100 and 200 milliliters. Doesn't, uh, doesn't do ounces. The dimensions are 1.7 by 4.9 to here. If you include the width of the handle, it's 6.5, which you should because this handle is fixed. As far as weight goes, 3.7 ounces or 104 grams. Lastly, we've got our stove. You can see that I've burnt with it just a little bit, used an Esbit cube or two in this thing uh, just to boil some water. Uh, it is 3 by 3.8 by 0.8. And we'll look at the weight real quick. And we've got 3.6 ounces or 103 grams.
All right, now, first off, I'll tell you guys, this tasted amazing, absolutely amazing. You can get these dumplings pre-made at Walmart or anywhere. I'll try to leave a link down below for you guys, but uh, good stuff. So what do we think about the cook kit? I mean, is it the best quality? No, no, it's not the best quality at all. Is it acceptable? Absolutely, it's 25 bucks. I do wish that the cup handle folded in and it's such a small cup that it is, it's kind of hard to use. Honestly, I don't think I'd ever use it. And the carrying case seems to be kind of an afterthought. It's kind of hard to stick it in there sometimes, so that's kind of annoying, but that's not really surprising either. The mess tin itself is pretty small. Now you know the dimensions going in. This is definitely a one person kit. You don't want to try to cook for two people, I would guess, or you're not going to eat very much. But it is definitely a great addition to any emergency kit. I think it's, I think it's pretty cool. What do you guys think? You know, if you look at everything you get inside of this kit for 25 bucks, it's, it's kind of hard to beat. None of it is the best quality in the world, but it's all perfectly fine and acceptable. I think it's great for like an emergency kit, something that you would buy, put in your emergency go bag and your bug out bag and have there just in case with the idea that you probably never use it tons, but if you do need it and you take care of it, it'll work just fine. I see a lot of possibilities for the steaming rack. It could definitely be used for dry baking as well. If you guys are interested, I could try to do some dry baking. If you want to see that on a future video, let me know. If you're not into solid fuel, you could definitely use this kit with an alcohol stove, for example, maybe even a upright canister stove. You have to be really careful with the heat that comes off those things when you're cooking with an upright canister stove, you need to keep the heat super, super low or you're gonna end up scorching everything. And if you do that, you're gonna need very good wind protection or do it inside preferably, but you're gonna need very good wind protection or else it's gonna go out really quickly because you have to keep the, the gas so low that it's gonna be very susceptible to going out. Let me know in the comments what you think of this kit. I think it's pretty cool. Let me know if you think it's worth 25 bucks. Do me a favor, guys. If you like the video, hit the subscription button for me. That really helps my channel out the most. Obviously, commenting, uh, hitting the thumbs up, uh, hitting the, the notification bell, all those things are awesome. I would appreciate if you do all of them, but if you're only gonna do one thing, hit that subscription button. I have an entire playlist on a lot of different gear reviews. I'll make sure I leave that in a link down below and maybe up here in the cards somewhere if I can remember to do that. As always, guys, I really appreciate you checking out the Paleo Hiker MD channel. Hope you guys like this video. A little bit different kit, budget kit, works really well, inspired by another YouTuber. As always, guys, I really do appreciate you checking out the Paleo Hiker MD channel. Stay tuned for more videos soon.